Hello children, today we are going to discuss fourth chapter of our grade 9 CBC curriculum that is linear equations in two variables. linear equations in two variables. See, you already learnt in 9th class and 7th class, what do you mean by a linear equation even in one variable as well as two variables. So, what are we going to learn in grade 9 about linear equation in two variables? Have a brief look on this. First of all, we are going to learn what do you mean by a linear equation in one variable as well as two variables and what is a root of a linear equation in one variable and what are roots of linear equations in two variables, how many number of roots or how many number of solutions are there for a linear equation in two variables and then what is the standard form of linear equation? So, standard form of linear equation in a two variables, okay? Standard form of linear equation in two variables. And then, how do you represent graphically? That is, graphical representation of linear equation either in one variable as well as two variables, okay? And next, what are the applications of this linear equations in two variables? So, how do we use the concept of linear equations either in one variable or two variables to solve daily applicable problems, okay, in your daily life, right? Coming to what do you mean by a linear equation in one variable? Linear equation in one variable. For example, if I would say um, my marks, I just want to find out my marks, but I am just giving a statement that there is another person, okay? That other person, I am conveying the message to the other person about my marks such that 5 is added to my marks is equal to 30. 5 is added to my marks is equal to 30. Will you be able to find out my marks? Then easily we can figure out. My marks, I do not know my marks, let my marks is equal to m. My marks are added to 5, then it will become 30. So, my marks plus 5 is equal to 30. So, how much plus 5 is equal to 30? Absolutely, m is equal to 25. So, this is what called m plus 5 is equal to 30 is a linear equation. How many unknowns are there? The unknown is only one unknown. That is why it is said to be a linear equation in one variable. Generally, we consider the variables with respect to, uh, you know, the further studies. They are x and y are unknowns, all variables, okay? See here, m plus 5 is equal to 30, where m is a variable, right? And what do you call this 25 to this m plus 5 is equal to 30? Yes m is equal to 25 is called a solution or root of the linear equation m plus 5 is equal to 30. So, since it is a linear equation in one variable, it has how many number of solutions? There is only one solution. You can take any linear equation in one variable. For example, 2x is equal to 0. This is also a linear equation in one variable what are the solutions or what is the solution of 2x is equal to 0? 2 into how much is equal to 0? 2 into 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 0 is the only solution for 2x is equal to 0. So, this is a linear equation in one variable has only one solution. This is also a linear equation in one variable has only one solution. So, that every linear equation in one variable has only one solution. What do you mean by that one solution? Is there any other name for one solution? Yes, it is called a unique solution. A unique solution means there is only one solution for a linear equation in one variable. Correct? And uh, what do you call that solution? The another name for solution is a root. 
of the linear equation in one variable okay coming to if there are two variables involved there are two variables means like i just went to a sports shop and i'm going to uh, purchase one bat as well as one ball the shopkeeper said that the cost of one ball and one bat together 600 rupees the cost of one ball as well as one bat together 600 rupees i don't know what is the cost of one ball let the cost of one ball let the cost of one ball we do not know what is the cost of one ball let us say that is x rupees and uh, the cost of one bat is equal to let us say y rupees but together costs 600 rupees what does it mean the cost of one ball and one bat is going to be 600 rupees it means x plus y is equal to 600 can you exactly say what is the cost of one ball as well as cost of one bat you cannot because if you take the cost of one ball is equal to 100 then the cost of one bat is equal to 500 but the cost of one ball as 100 rupees is not mentioned anywhere so that is why this is just our assumption if the cost of one ball is given then you can find the cost of one bat otherwise if the cost of one bat is given you can simultaneously find the cost of one ball or else you can find out just give some values randomly like x is equal to 1 rupee for example then y is equal to 599 rupees of course that is also possible values of x and y and x is equal to 10 rupees then y is equal to 590 rupees that is also one possible values of x and value of x and y right like that x plus y is equal to 600 has how many number of solutions if i put x is equal to 1 then y is going to be 599 so 1 comma 599 is one solution like x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 598 if x is equal to 2.5 then y is equal to 597.5 so like that there are infinitely many number of values of x and y which satisfies this equation x plus y is equal to 600 but whereas if you observe in the previous example x plus 5 is equal to 30 or m plus 5 is equal to 30 that is a linear equation in one variable has only one solution but how many number of variables are there there are two variables and uh, what is the power of x here the power of x is 1 as well as the power of y is also 1 that is why it is said to be a linear equation but the number of variables involved in this linear equation is 2 that is why this equation is said to be a linear equation in two variables what do you call this a linear equation in two variables those two variables are maybe x and y or u and v or p and q or a and b anything it is right so x plus y is equal to 600 is said to be a linear equation in two variables now tell me how many number of solutions are there for a linear equation in two variables there are infinitely many number of solutions for a linear equation in two variables whereas a linear equation in one variable has only one solution okay let us try to understand what is the standard form of this linear equation in one variable as well as standard form of linear equation in two variables if there is only one variable then we can say that the standard form is that one variable can be either it it would be either x or it would be either y okay so standard form standard form of a linear equation in one variable in one variable is in one variable means there is only either x or y if x term is there definitely constant term should be there since it is a standard form what do you mean by standard form standard form means if an equation contains all possible terms in it then it is said to be 
in the standard form. Since it is a linear equation in one variable, so linear is nothing but first degree term should be there. First degree term means x term should be there. X term in the sense if I write only x, it means the coefficient of x is only 1 all the time. It can be anything, right? It can be 2 or it can be 3 or it can be root 2 or it can be 1 by 5 or it can be 0 0.2. It can be anything. That is why I should give one coefficient also to that x. So, I can write it as a x where a can be any real number plus constant term should also be there that is b is equals to 0. So, this is what the standard form of a linear equation in one variable a x plus b is equal to 0. Similarly, what is the standard form of a linear equation in two variables that is standard form of a linear equation in two variables that is see since there are two variables and it is a linear equation that is why suppose if you consider x and y are your variables then x degree should be 1 as well as y also 1. Similarly, similar to this standard form of linear equation in one variable you can write it as something into x plus second variable also there. So, something into y and constant should also be there is equal to 0. Okay? So, this is said to be a linear equation in two variables. This is linear equation in one variable standard forms. You understand? So, the total number of solutions or roots of a linear equation in one variable is only one. Means every linear equation in one variable has a unique solution or unique roots. Whereas, a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many number of solutions. How do you get those infinitely many number of solutions? Just give one value, one number to one of the variables. Then solve it for the other variable. So, that one value of x comma y is one solution. Like that, if you give one more value to the one more variable, you will get another value of the variable. So, you get infinitely many number of solutions for every linear equation in two variables. So, that is why a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many number of solutions. Okay? And coming to how to represent a linear equation in one variable as well as two variables on the graph sheet. Linear equation in one variable as well as two variables on the graph sheet. In the previous lesson that is coordinate geometry, we learned how to plot points on the graph sheet. And now, we are going to learn how to draw a linear equation after drawing a linear equation on the graph sheet you will be able to identify the position of the graph position of the line okay right so this is about the standard forms of linear equation in one variable as well as two variables and now coming to the graphical representation of linear equations let me take a point on the board that is a point on the board. How many number of lines linear equation is nothing but represents a line that is what called linear. right? So, every linear equation either in one variable or two variables or three variables represents a straight line. Now, how are you going to draw the straight line? That is what is our task now. Suppose there is a point on the board, how many number of lines that can be drawn passing through this only point on the board. How many number of lines that can be drawn? I can draw one line like this. I can draw one more line like this and can draw one more line like this. I can draw one more line like this. Like that how many number of lines that can be drawn? There are infinitely many number of lines that can be drawn passing through a single point on the board. So, simply we can draw infinitely many number of lines that can be drawn passing through a single point in a plane. So, instead of a single point, now I am taking two points. Okay? So, this is one point and this is one more point. 
Now, how many number of lines that can be drawn passing through these two points A and B? Then definitely you can take a scale and join these two points with the help of scale and produce or extend in both the directions. So, how many number of lines they are? That is only one line that can be drawn passing through any two points on a plane. So, that the number of points required to draw a line on the graph sheet is 2. So, 2 is enough to draw a line on the graph sheet. So, I am taking one line in the standard form. That line in the standard form is for example, x plus 2y is equals to 7. This is one equation of a straight line and uh, it has two variables. So, that this is a linear equation in two variables. Now, I am going to represent this linear equation x plus 2 y is equal to 7 graphically. For that, I need to plot some points. What are those points? The points are said to be the solutions of the linear equation. So, I am going to figure out some solutions of this x plus 2 y is equal to 7. What do you mean by solutions? Just now we discussed about the solutions. How do you get the solutions? Just by putting one number in the place of one variable. Okay? So, x values as well as y values. Suppose if I take x is equal to some 0 because I have infinitely many number of real numbers, I can put anything. But according to my possibility and availability, I am going to represent them on the graph sheet. That is why I am taking x is equal to 0. Substitute x equal to 0 here. 0 plus 2y is equal to 7. 0 plus 2y is equal to 7, then 2y is equal to 7, then y is equal to 7 upon 2. 7 upon 2 is equal to how much? 3.5. So, the value of y is going to be 3.5. So, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3.5. I got 1 point. Now, second point that I am going to find, I am taking x is equal to 1. If I take x equal to 1, then 1 plus 2y is equal to 7. 2y is equal to transpose this one that side 7 minus 1 which is equal to 6. 2y is equal to 6. So, y is equal to 2, 3 is 6. Therefore, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So, I got 2 points. 0, 3.5 is one point and 1, 3 is the another point on the line x plus 2y plus 2y is equal to 7. On the line in the sense, this is a linear equation in two variables represents a straight line. Of course, we are going to do that. So, 0, 3.5 are said to be the solutions of the line as well as 1, 3 also said to be the solutions of the line x plus 2y is equal to 7. Right. Now, I am going to draw this on the graph sheet. Okay. The name of the linear equation in two variables is x plus 2y is equal to 7. Okay. Going to draw. If you want, we can find one more point. Let us see that point also lying um, whatever the graph that it represents. Okay? I am going to figure out two more points. Those two more points are giving x is equal to 3. When x is equal to 3, then 3 plus 2y is equal to 7. 3 plus 2y is equal to 7, then 2y is equal to how much? 7 minus 3 is equal to 4, then y is equal to 2, 2 are 4. Therefore, when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2. So, x is equal to 3, then y is equal to 2. And taking one more value of x or you can take one more value of y, does not matter. Now, I am taking x is equal to some 5. If I take x is equal to 5, then 5 plus 2y is equal to 7. 5 plus how much equal to 7? <coughs> 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Therefore, 2y is equal to 2. If 2y is equal to 2, then y is going to be 1 means the value of x is equal to 5, then y is going to be 1. So, x is equal to 5, then y is going to be 1. So, I think I found the totally 4 solutions. Maybe enough, I am going to stop finding solutions. This is when x is equal to 3 as well as when x is equal to 5, I got simultaneous values of y. Okay? So, drawing x axis and y axis to identify the points. Okay? Right. See here, the horizontal reference is said to be x-axis as we already discussed and the vertical reference is said to be y-axis. 
and the intersection point of both the coordinate axes is said to be the origin right now see the values are the numbers on x axis first to 0 next to 1 next to 3 next to 5 there is no negative value on x axis so that i don't have to consider the negative direction of x axis and the maximum value on x axis is 5 so that i should take only five numbers on x axis which are at equal distances okay i am taking 1 cm equal to 1 unit on x axis so it is 1 and it is 2 and it is 3 and it is 4 and it is 5 i'll take one more let it be some 6 and coming to y values y values are maximum 3.5 and minimum 1 maximum 3.5 minimum 1 means what i can take 1 cm equal to 1 unit here then it would be 1 2 3 and i'll take one more number 4 okay i am going to figure it figure out the points on the coordinate plane the first point is 0 comma 3.5 0 comma 3.5 means what the horizontal distance is 0 and the vertical distance is 3.5 so horizontal distance is 0 is nothing but it is over here and the vertical distance is 3.5 means where is the vertical distance 3.5 would be here so what are the coordinates of this particular point 0 comma 3.5 okay i will write here this is 0 comma 3.5 okay that is one point and the second point is 1 comma 3 so the horizontal distance of the point is 1 and vertical distance is 3 okay horizontal distance is 1 where is the horizontal distance this is 1 and vertical distance is equal to 3 where is that 3 3 is over here okay so this point is 1 comma 3 and the next point is 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 means 3 is horizontal distance and vertical distance is going to be 2 so this is the point 3 comma 2 okay and one more point is 5 comma 1 horizontal distance is 5 and the vertical distance is 1 so this is the point 5 comma 1 now what you do you will have to join all the points but when you join all the points better use a scale and place it on the first two points and then you see the other points also lying in the same way or not of course when you observe by placing a scale on two points first two points then definitely all the four points lying on the same line so that this line is said to be a straight line and moreover this is a straight line is for x plus 2y is equal to 7 so the name of a straight line is x plus 2y is equal to 7 and this is the way of representing a linear equation in two variables graphically so here we understand one thing that a linear equation in two variables represents an equation of straight line every linear equation either in one variable or two variables or three variables represents an equation of straight line okay this is the graphical representation of equation of straight line and here we can understand one thing that 0 comma 3.5 is said to be a solution if 0 comma 3.5 is a solution then that 0 comma 3.5 is said to be a point on the line 0 comma 3.5 is a solution for a linear equation in two variables but that 0 comma 3.5 is said to be a point on the straight line 2x plus 2y is equal to 7 so it means a point is also said to be a solution in the context of a linear equation in two variables then the values of x and y which satisfies the equation are said to be the solutions but in the context of a straight line that value of x and y which satisfies that is said to be a point on the line a line has infinitely many number of points on it that is why the number of solutions of a linear equation is also infinite understand so this is what about graphical representation of a straight line on the graph sheet now we'll discuss about how to convert the given equation into the standard form if the equation is in two variables then how to convert it into the standard form what is the standard form of a linear equation in two variables the standard form is going to be ax plus by 
plus c is equal to 0. That is the standard form of a linear equation in two variables. So, you are given some linear equations. The first one is 2x is equal to y minus 5. Is this linear equation in the standard form? No, because it is not in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So, standard form of a linear equation means x term, y term as well as constant should be on the left hand side of the equality. Then only it is said to be the standard form of linear equation. So, where we have only x term on the left hand side, whereas y term and constants are on the right hand side of the equality. That is why if you write this as 2x and transpose plus y towards left hand side, that is minus y and transpose minus y here plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, this line is said to be in the standard form of linear equation in two variables. Okay, this is the way of converting the given equation into the standard form. For suppose, the next equation is minus 3y plus 2 by 5 is equal to 6x. This is one more linear equation, but it is not in the standard form. In It is not in the form of ax plus b a plus c equal to 0. So, how do you convert it in the standard form? See, with respect to this equality sign, left hand side of the equality you have y term and constant, whereas right hand side you have x term. But you should have the equation in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, that is why we do one thing, just reverse both of them, like you can write it as 6x is equal to minus 3y plus 2 divided by 5. Okay? And y term as well as constant on the right hand side, transpose them towards left hand side. Then it is going to be 6x minus 3y would be plus 3y and plus 2 by 5 is going to be minus 2 by 5 equals to 0. Of course, it is in the standard form because x term is separate, y term is separate, constant also separate. So, that is why it is said to be in the standard form. Got it? This is linear equations converting them into the standard forms. For example, one more equation is given like 0.2x minus 0.6 bar is equal to 0.1y. 0.2x minus 0.6 bar is equal to 0.1y. Again, every term should be on the left hand side, but it is not. So, that is why we can do one thing 0.2x and transpose y term also towards left hand side. Then it is minus 0.1y minus 0.6 bar is equal to 0. Now, it is in the standard form of linear equation in two variables. So, hope you understand how to convert linear equations into their standard forms like ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Okay? And how to frame linear equation in two variables? In the very beginning, we discussed about one example that uh, the marks obtained by one student x and the marks obtained by another student y together is equal to 100. Means what? x plus y is equal to 100. So, where x is the marks obtained by obtained by one student suppose A and y is the marks obtained by the other student suppose B. So, that x plus y is equal to 100. Like that, um, suppose the cost of one bat as well as the cost of one ball, like the cost of some pencils as well as the cost of pens. Okay? So, like here, if you do not know what is the value of one variable, one va uh, like one object, you can say that let the value of this object is going to be some x or some y or some z. So, simultaneously, we can find out the values of the variables. Hope you understand. So, this is about linear equations in two variables and in this linear equations in two variables, what else are we learned? Um, Let us brief recap. We discussed about what is a linear equation in one variable and what is the standard form of linear equation in one variable and how many number of solutions are there for a linear equation in one variable. And second thing is what is a linear equation in two variables as well as the number of solutions of linear equation in two variables and what is its standard form and what does it represents. Okay? And then 
what is the graphical representation of a linear equation in one variable as well as two variables and how to convert the given linear equations into the standard form as well as some applications of linear equations in two variables. So, hope you understand. Thank you.